I'm just about to start a trip from Oslo to Trondheim, where I'm going to a party with my company. And since there is some big event going on in Trondheim, there are no hotels free. So I'm going to end up sleeping in the car. And that's going to be the adventure part of this one. So we're going to stop first at uh, Max Burgers, of course, in Hamar. I'm Swedish, so I need my uh, Swedish fast food. We're heading up to Dombos, which is a uh, version 3, 250 kilowatt charger. And then we're going into Trondheim, where I'll charge close to the office. Uh, I'll set up my bed, meet some friends for dinner, and then I'm going to sleep in the car. That's the plan. Uh, we have the trip meter reset. Let's go. After some, some good food at Max, the car has been cleaned and we're passing the wooden building that's been made famous by both Björn Nyland and Chris Eiffel. Uh, we have probably about six hours of total travel time left. Uh, still planning to charge in Dombos. It's a fairly new installation of E3 superchargers. Um, and then we'll make it all the way into Trondheim City, where I'll try the new superchargers there for the first time. I made a bit of a change of plans, or at least I'm going to try to. Um, we started with 100% in Oslo, uh, but uh, potentially we can stretch it all the way to Optal instead of stopping in Dombos. So uh, we'll see how that goes, because typically once you get off the, the highway we started on, uh, the consumption lowers and the arrival percentage just keeps creeping and creeping up because people are driving slow in Norway and the set maximum speed on most roads is 80 kilometers per hour. So we'll see where we'll go with that. Uh, the car doesn't seem to like me holding the phone like this, so uh, talk to you soon. at arrival to now having 10%. So we have another 42 kilometers to go and then we'll charge up and that's our only charging on our way to Trondheim. And once I get to Trondheim I'll charge up the car to make sure I have enough juice for camping for two days. I've never seen the Optal supercharger before. It's the first time I go there and I think it's the only supercharging location between Oslo and Trondheim that I haven't been to. We just arrived at the Optal supercharger. We managed to drive 416 kilometers. We have 10% left, so let's get plugged in. There we go. And we'll see what 
speeds we get up to. Oh, it'll ramp up. But let's have a look. Our final stop will be the supercharger in Trondheim City. Uh, let's see how much we need. Looks like we only need to charge about 10% for a 5% arrival. That works for me. But there's one final thing I want to check. So the price in Trondheim is 350 Nook per kilowatt hour. Here in Optal, 350. So no price difference. So I'm just going to charge up for just a few minutes, a very, very short stop after probably, let's see. I've been driving for five hours and 46 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I mean, when the speed limits are low, as in Norway, you can drive for quite some time. Uh, I stopped to eat once, took a bathroom break once, and uh, now we're just on the final stretch to Trondheim. Charging is up to 190, still climbing. And just for reference sake, uh, it's been three minutes. Already says I'll arrive at in Trondheim with 11%, so time to go. No time to rest here. <laughs> Turns out I lied in Optal. I haven't been to this supercharger either, <laughs> which I forgot. But it's uh, right next to the service center here on the left, and there are a bunch of V3 superchargers here on the right. Someone camping in his trunk. Interesting. So we found the spot next to this Model X with yellow calipers. I've never seen that before. So let's see. Since the charge in Optal. 123 kilometers, 107 watt-hours per kilometer. That's Norwegian efficiency for you when it's going really slow uh, on E6. But uh, let's get plugged in. Now I'm going to juice up to probably 80 or 90 percent, depending on how long I feel like waiting. We're at 59% state of charge now. Uh, I'm just gonna go up to 70 or 80 because my friends are already waiting for me. But just to sum up the trip a little bit. So we drove from Oslo to Trondheim. We started with 100% this morning, a total of 540 kilometers with an average consumption of 134 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, that's very low, very low. I started in the start, I only ran uh, the fans and no AC, and then eventually when the sun came out, I uh, ran the AC for the rest of the trip. Um, and with 72 kilowatt hours used, we almost could have made it uh, with just one charge. Uh, so I spent three minutes charging in Optal to go here, and the total time of the trip was seven and a half hours. <laughs> so um, that was uh, seven hours and 27 minutes of driving and three minutes of charging. Uh, it's pretty insane. I'm gonna have to find a good parking spot for the night and then I'm just gonna run over to the restaurant uh, and then I'll come back later when it's probably dark uh, and I'll have to set up the, the sleeping in the back and uh, get the covers on the windows and, and everything. So this was a really interesting trip for me. I've never looked at the data too closely when I've driven Oslo from them. I've done it a bunch of times, uh, both ways, winter, summer. I just kind of get in the car and drive with whatever state of charge I have and then I um, just charge when I have to because I want to take breaks anyway. Um, so this was very interesting. All right, I'll see you later. We found our uh, parking spot for the night right next to this very nice uh, tiny teardrop camper. Uh, the only downside is it's right next to the train tracks and I know they honk in the morning. Uh, so we'll see how good the isolation is when sleeping. The good thing is, it's very, very close to the office. It's over there. Uh, so I'm gonna run off to dinner. Uh, and the next thing we'll look at is to set up the sleeping stuff. Good morning, or it's more like good day, it's noon. Uh, but it's two days later. 
uh, got caught up in uh, some dinners and the party. So let's have a look inside. Just got the shades covering the entire thing. We have the uh, tent mattress just covered with a, a normal sheet. Um, let's see if we can get this off so we can get some more light in here. Let's see. So these are just attached with suction cups. And there we go. Let's get that out of the way. And this is what it looks like. So you can use that as a as a shelf for some stuff. Um, and one of the issues for me is that I'm a bit too tall. So I can't really lay flat on my back all the way here because then my head goes below uh, beyond the headrest and I have to sleep with a bent neck. Uh, also the height here, I have pretty wide hips. So like if I try to turn around uh, from one side to the other, I tend to uh, get not stuck, but like get into this. So I wouldn't want to sleep in here with a sleeping bag where I might tear it open. Um, other than that, it's been pretty good. The first night was a bit rough. The second night I slept like a baby. So I'm gonna unpack this and then we're gonna actually head back on the road and go back to Oslo.